हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल सो सो फार इन द इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन सेक्शन वी हैव कवर्ड द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्टरी कॉन्सेप्ट्स देन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट लीनियर डीसी मशीन सिंपल लूप जनरेटर एंड द जनरल कंस्ट्रक्शनल फीचर्स ऑफ अ डीसी जनरेटर एक्चुअली डीसी मशीन इट अप्लाइज टू बोथ generators and motors so in this video we are going to just have a quick discussion on the emf equation of a dc generator so it will be a quick discussion we are not going to derive it derive the expression we are just going to have a basic understanding of the mathematical expression for the output emf which is induced in a generator we'll discuss uh, we'll derive it in a separate video we'll uh, discuss it in detail this emf equation of a dc generator for that it will require around 3 to 4 videos so before that i want all of you to have a good understanding just a basic information about the emf equation so that it will be easier for you to uh, you know grasp those uh, advanced things later on so for that uh, we have already discussed about simple loop generator where we have a rectangular loop coil which is placed in the magnetic field with north and south poles and uh, with the current directions as indicated we have already discussed that in the simple loop generator video so you please watch that video so here it is only one turn coil okay a single turn coil because it is a simple loop generator so it consists of a single turn coil but in actual uh, you know in uh, actual generators or motors it consists of many turns multiple turns of this coil this winding so the coil they are basically of two types single turn coil which is used to make you understand this uh, whole uh, operating principle but actually multiple turn coil is used for motors and generators so the single turn coil it looks something like this it involves two conductors two separate conductors which are joined together connected together at this point which is called as back connection and one particular side is constitutes a single conductor or coil side so here the coil side ab is one conductor the coil side cd is a separate conductor these two conductors are joined together through a back connection to form a single turn of coil this is a single turn coil multiple turn coils it consists of uh twice the number of turns number of conductors okay which are joined together through multiple back connections so there is a relationship between the number of turns and conductors the number of conductors is equal to twice the number of coil turns okay number of conductors is 2 into number of turns of coil so a single turn coil will have two conductors a four turn coil will have eight conductors or coil sides as per this formula okay okay so you are clear about the number of turns of coil and the number of conductors a single turn coil has two conductors joined together to form a back connection multiple turn coil will have twice the number of conductors will be twice the number of turns okay here there are four turns so it will be eight conductors on both sides which are joined together through multiple connections to form this four turn coil now we know in the uh, while discussing the linear dc machine we discussed that uh, the emf induced in a conductor when a uh, when a conductor rotates in a magnetic field the emf which is induced as per fleming's rule is e equals to blv where e is the induced emf 
B is the magnetic flux density. L is the length of the conductor. V, small v, and these, this is all the small l. Small v is the velocity of rotation of the conductor in the magnetic field. This is the generator action. In the linear DC machine, that video we have discussed. So, in case of a DC generator, the EMF equation, it looks something like this. The EMF, generated EMF. We'll discuss about this whole expression in detail. We'll also derive it. For now, you just, just know that this is the mathematical expression for the induced EMF in the DC generator, this type of DC generator, which consists of multiple turns of coil and everything. So the net EMF induced in a DC generator, it is given by E subscript G, which is the EMF for a generator is equal to P phi Zn by 60 A. Here capital P is the number of poles. See these poles which are bolted on this frame or yoke. We have discussed about them in the constructional features of DC generator. So the number of poles, it is P, capital P stands, it stands for number of poles. Phi is the flux linking per pole. Capital Z is the number of armature conductors which are fitted into these slots the circular slots on the armature core. N is the rotational speed of armature. Generally, it is expressed in terms of RPM. Then 60 is the constant. A is number of parallel paths. Okay, The parallel paths are actually uh, associated with these coil turns. Okay, These are basically paths for the f magnetic flux. So we'll discuss about it in detail. Now I don't want to confuse you. So we'll discuss them in detail. So for now you just understand that this is the mathematical expression for the induced EMF for a general uh, DC generator. Okay, the induced EMF is P phi Zn by 60A where these notations or symbols stand for these things. We'll discuss it, we'll derive it in a separate video and it will take around three to four or five videos maybe because there will be a lot of concepts associated with it which has to be explained first. Only then you will be able to understand it completely. So before that, I just wanted to you to know the basic uh, layout, the basic what we are going to discuss. Okay, so this is the EMF equation of a DC generator. So here we have discussed about the types of coil, single turn coil, multiple turn, turn coil, relationship between number of turns of coil and conductors and the EMF equation of a DC generator. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.